Okay, we're going to head to the gym again. So I wanted to talk to you today about waking up in the morning with self-loathing, feeling depressed almost. I don't always have my shit together. Like, I wake up in the morning sometimes, and for the first five minutes, I'm like, you're no good, you're shit, what's going on? Sometimes it's, oh, James, what's going on? You're 41 and you don't have a family yet. You're shit at relationships. You'll never find love. You'll never have a family. Other times I compare myself to other entrepreneurs and I'm like, geez, James, you're not making enough money. Like, oh my God, look at that guy making so much more than you. Come on, what's wrong with you? Other times I might put my hand down and around my waist and go, Jesus, you got like 16% body fat. Why isn't it 12%? If only you didn't have that ice cream last night. Other times I just feel directionless. Like, what should I do with my life? Even though I'm moving in a direction, sometimes I question it and I go, am I heading in the right direction or should I head in that direction? And sometimes there are just so many options. I'm like, do I go that way, that way? Do I do this thing, this thing? What if I do that and it doesn't work? If I did that, oh, that thing, I tried, it didn't work. And in the first five minutes of the day, you're like, you're starting a day going, I'm shit. Oh, my life sucks. Everything's the worst. And I go through that many mornings. Some weeks, most mornings. Not every morning, but a lot. I go through it a lot. Do you go through something similar to that? Do you ever feel depressed the first five minutes in the morning? Do you ever like have that inner dialogue going on? I feel you. It sucks. But I realize that they're just thoughts. It's not actually who you are. They're just thoughts. It's a story in your head. But that's all it is. It's a story. And you can change your story very quickly. So here's what I do. Here are three things that I do, okay? Number one is gratitude. So I go into my five-minute journal and I write down three things that I'm grateful for. And that changes the story. It changes the story from I'm crap, I'm no good, I don't have this, to I'm grateful for this, this, and this. And it rewires your brain. Second tip is meditation, which I hate because <laughs> i am just got ADD and I'm, it's hard to sit still. But just five or ten minutes can help immensely. I use uh, two apps, Calm, C-A-L-M, and Headspace. Calm is free with a paid upgrade, and Headspace costs a little bit more money. And doing that for just five or ten minutes, and just like sitting still and trying to focus on your nose or your head, makes those thoughts just lose their power. And then third, I change my language from, I can't do this, I'm crap at this, to I'm strong, I'm powerful, I'm moving forward, I'm an action taker. Sometimes I'll get one of those black marker pens and I'll write it on my mirror. So in the morning when I'm looking in the mirror, splashing water on my face, I see I'm strong, I'm powerful, moving forward. If I say I'm no good, I'm crap, look at my body, it's moving forward. But if I say I'm strong, I'm powerful, look at my body, I'm moving forward. My chest is up and I'm powerful, I'm moving. So try those three things. The other thing you should also do is get as much sunlight as you can. Sunlight increases your happiness. Get as much exercise, which releases endorphins, which makes you happy. And also, double down on the things you like. If you like hanging out with dogs, then hang out with dogs. If you like running, then run more. If you like a certain friend, hang out with that friend more. All of these things combined help get me out of that, like, oh, I suck, everything's bad, bad, and gets me into, like, all right, let's go, let's go, let's go. It just gets you out of it. And most times, my mood can change just like that. Tony Robbins, the motivational coach, says you can change your mood in a heartbeat, just like that. So just decide to do it. I am not a doctor. Obviously, if you have more um, serious depression, clinical depression, then obviously see a doctor. But those skills will certainly help. And for me, it's like, listen to what my complaints were when I mentioned them right in the beginning. I don't have a family. I don't make enough money. Someone else is doing better. I mean, first world problem. That's why I know that for me, those thoughts are ridiculous. It's just a bullshit story, just like it is for you. Most Most of your thoughts are bullshit as well. I can tell myself another story. Instead of like, I suck, this is no good, I can say, I'm healthy, my parents love me, I've got a great business, I'm inspiring people. Change your story, change your life. If you've got a choice of what story to tell yourself, then just go for the positive one. Don't go for the negative one, just change your story. I'm in Australia, I travel the world, I'm about to go to the gym and work out, I'm gonna feel amazing, you're watching me on my Snapchat and my Instagram story. I caught up with great friends last night, there's food on the table, I woke up in a beautiful bed, I'm probably going to Sydney this week, I'm going to eat my favourite Australian snack food after I work out, I'm going to go in there and buy some really unhealthy barbecue shapes, but I don't care because I love barbecue shapes. 
the sun is shining. Just change your story. Just find every little thing that you can be grateful for. Change your So what are you grateful for? Send me a message right now. I want to hear from you. Tell me what your depressive thoughts are and how you're going to change it. I want to hear from you. Send me a snap on Oh no, I have to go and do leg day in the gym. I hate leg day, it really hurts. Yes, it's leg day. I'm gonna smash these legs and I'm gonna feel amazing. Let's do it, let's do it. I love leg day. <laughs> I love leg day, I love leg day. Let me show you the Australian version of the Social Security Office. Oh, it's nice. It's nice. So I'm having a meeting here with Kevin from the 30 Day No Alcohol Challenge. We're just strategizing uh, the marketing of this book. How are you doing, Kevin? Doing awesome. <coughs> oh, yeah, we've got a thunderstorm coming here in Brisbane. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, it's going to get nasty. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can hear that. Where is it? Come on, bring it to me. Where are you? Come on, Rain. Come on. Anyway, back to the back to the temporary office here. <sighs> back to the temporary office when I'm visiting my mum's place. <laughs> oh yeah, the heavens have opened. There it is. It's coming down. So now we're doing a uh, Swanee's business meeting, this uh, brother and co-founder Tristan, while uh, mum's making some steak. Oh, this is dinner coming up, Australia's worst vegetarian kitchen. Oh, look at that, I'm going to smash that with a bit of Bundaberg ginger beer. Oh yeah, it's getting ready to rock. <laughs>